makes wine so special anyway? After all, it's just fermented grape juice. We're going to talk about it in this video. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I am your host, Matthew Horky. This is kind of a special spin-off series we're doing because uh, uh, we are actually locked down in Zagreb, Croatia with everything that's going on in the world. So we're going to do, this is the second episode in a weekly series that I'll be doing, kind of share thoughts, pose questions, get feedback from you uh, about wine world, about the wine world during the, these difficult times. So, you know, since we're locked down, well, we can only go out for groceries. I'm going to keep it real. I'm not shaven. I'm all scruffy. My hair's a little bit long. I tried to get a haircut before everything went crazy. Nobody would accept me. So as this series goes on, hopefully the world clears up sooner rather than later. But maybe you'll see my hair start to go crazy. Or maybe you'll see me you see it bother me so much that I just buy a buzzer and just shave everything off. And then I'll look really, really funny. So why is wine special? Uh, I have a bottle here actually that we that I drank that we drank during uh, this kind of lockdown and it brought me back to why wine is so special to me. So that's what I'm going to share with you. <clears throat> to a lot of people, a vast majority of the population, wine is not that special. It's just another alcoholic beverage. I've seen even people in the profession where I don't know if wine is even that important to them. I think just getting, uh, just drinking, <laughs> just having something to drink, maybe just to get a little buzz, that's the most important. But uh, I'm going to share with you why this bottle made so, is so special to me. We have the, uh, the Domaine de la Roche by Jacques Tataschiore. I think I'm pronouncing right this. This is the Le Maguil. Neuchâtel, that's the appellation from Switzerland. Neuchâtel is named after the town and the lake. It's just, it's on the west side of Switzerland, just north of Geneva and Lake Geneva. This is 100% Pinot Noir. So why is, why was this so special? It was a gift actually to Shireen from a friend and she was nice enough to share it with me. And it's just Pinot Noir. What makes that so cool? Drinking this is what brought me back to why I love wine in the first place. Just to give you a little background about myself, actually, when I was an undergraduate student, I was a geology and chemistry major, taking a lot of geology classes, a lot of we uh, meteorology classes, weather pattern, climate, and then also chemistry. And then I actually switched. I took some pre-med courses, ended up going to chiropractics college. But still, can't take the, the chemistry and the geology out of me. So that's why I think wine is so fascinating. Really talks about there's the geology or the geography, where the wine is from. There's the chemistry, the whole winemaking. And I think that's what's romantic. Uh, in wine, I think you see a lot of obsessive personalities. When people are passionate about something, they really get into it. That's something that I do as well. So this new chateau, new chateau from uh, Domaine de la Roche. This is supposed to be one of the most sought after, hard to get Pinot Noirs in Switzerland. But drinking it, it's not a new world fruity Pinot Noir. It's something with a little bit. It's something with more leather, more earth tones. Has subtle layers. It's not so explosive. Uh, you really have to think and think about this wine, look deeper. It's not just about hedonistic pleasure. So here's the thing. It took me to a place, even though we've been to Switzerland, we were in Switzerland a few times last year. This kind of, just drinking this made me actually look up where New Chatel was. I didn't even know where it was. Uh, I've been to Lake Geneva. I've been to the vineyards on Laval. I haven't been to New Chatel. It made me look up about the town, the lake. Uh, get, I had to look about the pictures. I had this kind of romantic idea. It's, it's this far-flung place in the planet, in the tucked-away corner in Switzerland, right across the hills from the Jura. So it really took me to a place. And then number two, it really made me think. So I think that's what uh, us hardcore wine geeks find so fascinating, a story, a big story. It's either got to be about a place, a geography, a grape, or in the New World sometimes where they don't have some history traditions about a family, you know, what they've overcome, what they're trying to do. Because at the end of the day, 
fine wine is more of a luxury product. I mean, how much of us really do need a 25, 50, 100, thousand dollar bottle of wine? It's not really a necessity. You can get good drinking wines under that price point. So it's story that really, I think, makes wine truly special like any, uh, any more, any high-end product. So what makes wine special to you? That I just shared what makes what wine <laughs> what makes wine special to me i'd love to hear what makes wine special to you uh, put it down in the comments section below i'll be responding to comments i have a lot of free time <laughs> during this time so what else are you going to do and if you like this video please subscribe to our youtube channel exotic wine travel i will see you at the next episode